The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. In this liturgy of the Word, the Lord is presenting us this theme of judgment. And in terms of Jesus Christ from his sacred heart, judgment is to bring to light all our lives our actions and our deeds and our thoughts and our intentions to bring to light. And remember the beautiful scene when Jesus is presented to the temple, this Simeon, the prophet, this man, old man in the temple, reveals who Jesus is because he says to Mary and Joseph and praying to God, now, Lord, you have Show your servant to me, and you can let me go in peace, because my eyes have seen the salvation of the world. That's the first revelation, that Christ is the salvation. And then, light to the nations. He is light to the nations. The second revelation is that Christ is the light. And so in this light, he is going to uh, judge us. He's going to do his judgment towards us. In light, remember, not long ago also, Pope uh, John Paul II also institute the mysteries of light, which is also to highlight those passages from the life of Jesus in which the light of his heart shines upon the people of God and bringing all to his heart. Also, doing, in doing this, he brings us to the Father only in light. So today, as we hear judgment, as we hear it's going to be severe, it's going to be more tolerable for other people, as we remember those things and the miracles we have seen and experienced from God, today we are invited to live in the light. And so bring our lives in the light of Christ is to, to do what we're supposed to do as Christians, to pray unceasingly, to do acts of charity, to also have our own conversion in progress, not to be just stuck in a place or in a moment of our life, but to go further and more and more and more so we can see this light shining brightly in our lives. The final um, uh, mystery of the Rosary of Light is the institution of the Eucharist, in which we are going to participate in a few minutes. So let us receive this light of Christ from his most sacred heart. And let us be transformed through this light. So to start our own judgment, because to contemplate Christ, to be judged by his light, is to live as our Father in heaven is holy, our lives, uh, holy lives in this, uh, our, our, our own time in our own culture. So let us recall those moments in which Christ is calling us to live in, in this light. Let us open our hearts to his most gracious, gracious light. He is the light of the nations. He wants to transform us. And in this transfiguration in light, let us be amazed. Let us be with awe because God the Father is revealing his only begotten Son to us. 
and only to us is going to be given this most holy Eucharist in a few minutes, light to the nations, remedy for our infirmities, and also joy for our hearts. Amen.